it's another sweltering, extremely hot day here in Seoul. And it's been this way for weeks now. But a few days ago, this comment grabbed people's attention on social media. In about five to six months, we'll be suffering from temperatures about 40 to 50 degrees lower than today's. The daytime high in Seoul today reached 34 degrees Celsius, and temperatures easily dropped down to somewhere in the negative tens here in the coldest months. So yeah, it checks out. We will indeed be suffering in temperatures about 40 to 50 degrees lower than today's. And five to six months might seem like a long time away, but seeing as we are already at the tail end of July, well at this rate, it'll be the end of August, and it'll be September, and it will be winter before we know it. Really, we don't actually have much summer left. I'm Lena Park, and this is One Fine Day. Welcome to One Fine Day with Lena Park. That was Kuhei Yorum, One Summer by Yang Dail and Wendy. Nice little romantic kind of matchup there. Now, I brought this up yesterday too, right? This came up. Uh, it's hot right now, but you know, it just kind of strikes me that we don't have much of this heat left, really. I mean, sure, the summer did feel really dragged out here in Seoul, probably because it has been much hotter than it usually is. And we are, of course, dealing with that fourth wave of the pandemic as well. But the truth is, if you take a look at the calendar, we only have about a month of summer left. And we all know how quickly a month passes by. Seriously, how is it already the end of July? My goodness. You know, sooner than not, it's suddenly going to feel a little cooler in the mornings and in the evenings. That incessant cicada noises will be replaced by the tranquil chirps of crickets. So hang in there. Let's just enjoy the heat, <laughs> if, if that's even possible. Because we don't have much of it left. Let's enjoy the summer while we still can. So listeners, what has the summer been like for you? And where are you? Do you have any plans for the rest of the season? Our global roll call is just around the corner, so tell me all about it, as you also tell me where you are and what you're doing right now while listening to today's One Fine Day. Don't forget to send in any song requests as well. Feel free also to share your sayonder stories and anecdotes about anything. Nothing's too trivial anything goes. You can message me on Kong right on the various message boards on our website at world.kbs.co.kr or leave a comment on our latest posts on Instagram at KBS One Fine Day and Facebook at facebook.com slash English KBS. If you have a Korean phone number, you can text me at sharp8150. It's 51 per SMS and 101 per MMS. In part two of the show, singer-songwriter Stella Chang will join me for our Thursday segment, The Words. I'm going to take a close look at lyrics of some wonderful K-pop songs, so stay tuned. I'll be back with the roll call after one more song break. Here is A Pink with their song, Five. One Fine Day is coming to you live from Seoul, Korea. Currently, it is 5.21 p.m. And yes, we are still feeling the heat wave. Doesn't seem to be letting up. And I have to say, I think this is the longest we've gone in recent memory of just consistently hot. You know, usually it's hot for a few days, cool for a few days, but nope, nope, it's relentlessly hot. 
Right now, I'm talking to you in a studio located on the fourth floor of the main KBS building in Yeouido, Seoul. Where are you? Time for our global roll call. A chance for me to find out where in the world all my listeners are and what you're all up to today. Where are you? Listener Mogire Machuki says, I'm just off to work. KCI Kenya is quite fine. And listener Lim TWEA says, Hi, Jungya Nuna. To live in a foreign country means hard to have an opportunity to watch motherland sports live. Fortunately, I was able to watch a badminton match on live yesterday night. Korea versus Japan. Japanese player is the first ranked in the world, but Korea won. What a great moment as well. Team Korea fighting. Yes, everybody's got Olympic fever. As for our next listener, listener Yoon Mi Jang says, 언니, 안녕하세요. I'm so busy looking up Olympic games these days. The kids complain that they're boring, but I've been doing my best to explain the sports to them. They may have no interest in the athletes winning gold medals, but they get so fiercely competitive when they're playing rock, paper, scissors. When they win, they get as happy as a gold medalist. I guess it's like a, a league of their own. Those matches are as fun to watch as the Olympics. Ooh, looks like you have rock, paper, scissors Olympics going on in your own home. It's true. Whether it be a child winning a game of rock, paper, scissors, or this elite athlete winning the gold medal for his or her country, that joy, it's, it's the same. And that's why you just don't get tired of it. Can't get tired of watching that. Kong listener 12213149 says, I am in Switzerland. And relaxing before going to sleep with your show and acupressure. Oh, all right. Well, we hope that our show kind of contributes to your very relaxing time. Thanks for tuning in. And listener J.S. Lee says, uh, I worked out a little too much three hours yesterday. So today I've come outside for a recovery workout. I will walk. For two hours to recover and then wrap it up with a 30 minute long run. The weather is no excuse. Lighting. Oh my, oh my. How is that even recovering? Oh, yeah, well, just definitely take it easy. And if you do a 30 minute run, take it easy because it is pretty hot. All right, stay safe there. Let's look at song requests. First request from listener PC who says, Hi, Lena, greetings. From Malaysia. It has been some time since I left a message. Lately, I'm busy cleaning and organizing all my stuff. I am in my fifth day. Hopefully by tomorrow I can finish. Going through the old stuff that's more than 10 years ago, it really brought back a lot of memories, especially the cards and handmade gifts from friends during school days. Though I only keep in touch with a few friends now, I'm thankful to all the people that I've met along the way. I'd like to request B2B's friends. Thank you. Yes, it's true. Sometimes spring cleaning actually lends itself to a real long stroll down memory lane. I remember opening up boxes of, you know, notes we passed in class or, you know, just oh, those handmade cards that we'd give each other. So sweet, right? Well, thanks for sharing. Crystal Lim 77 writes, DJ Jonghyun, 언니, 안녕하세요. The women's volleyball team just won. It was so thrilling. The men's fencing team winning gold last night was a very proud moment as well. And they're so good looking, too. <laughs> With the tennis courts closed due to COVID, I am so glad that I had the Olympics to give me energy. 대한민국 화이팅입니다. My request song is Park Chang Yun Song for Me. All right. Olympic fever continues. And yes, it is kind of exciting. Some great um, athletic performances from Korean athletes. Uh, definitely reviving and re infusing a lot of us here in Korea with some badly needed energy. I'm sure in any respective country, athletes doing well for their country, and you're going to feel that pride as well. So, all in all, glad we had the Olympics. <laughs> All right, here are those two song requests. First, we'll listen to B2B with Friend. And then it's me, Bak Jung Hyun, with Song For Me. (laughs) 
That was Song for Me by Me, Park Jung Hyun, and before that we heard B2B with Friends. More messages today. JS Jerry76 says, Oh, it's the last live show of July. I wish there was a Christmas in August to make it seem cooler. Yes, yes, it is definitely hot. Coolie0111 says, Hi, Lena. It is really hot this summer. It's like we are in a jim tong, a steam pot. So humid and sticky, rough summer. Be careful of the heat, everyone. Yes, it's true. The heat is very, very, I don't know, it's finicky, right? We do have to just um, remember that we can get sick from the heat. So it's a really good warning there. Jisoo Kim 0801 writes, 안녕하세요, Nuna. Seems like the weather has gotten cooler somehow. This Sunday is my birthday, and my mom always said to me that it was unprecedentedly hot in the year when I was born, even more than this year. Actually, I found out that almost every friend of mine born in 1994, they hear these same words from their mom. She gave birth to me when she was four years younger than me. Of course, there was no such thing as AC, so I think I should feel more thankful for her this year. Ooh, yeah, can you imagine? My goodness, nine months pregnant, no air conditioning. <laughs> yes, yes, be thankful for your mother. Listener, I'm Kelly, says, Is today's picture the result of the photographer's skill in getting the fancy angle, or did she go up somewhere? Either way, outcome is great. My end of month looks pretty much the same. At the end of every month, I feel like I have to answer this self-reflection questionnaire. Of course, in general, there are more negative responses than positive responses. Mm. Maybe you have to try a little harder for the positive responses, but I think that it's worth the effort. And no, um, our in-house photographer did not go up anywhere. That was just um, pure angle skill. <laughs> Uh, listener Shooting Shuan 3 uh, sends a bunch of cute emojis describing today. House, noodles, TV, um, director's cut, radio and music, some rain, and then happy face. <laughs> we can interpret it as we will. Also has a request song for us, so it will be our next uh, song break. It's the new one from Ang Yu. One of their new ones, in fact, from their album. It is called Jeonjeng Ta. Hey Kid, Close Your Eyes English title featuring Isoni. You're listening to One Fine Day with Lena Park on KBS World Radio. Listener Alicia Y writes us today, Back in June, I went crazy buying lots of stuff from an online shopping platform based in China during their major sale event. The parcel forwarding service I use also had huge discounts for large parcels, so I accumulated what'd be around 60 items, including a few items I've bought in May and sent the parcel out to Australia at the end of June. Due to, alas, due to the uh, successive COVID situations in Guangzhou and in Sydney during the past two months, there have been massive delays in parcel forwarding. And my parcel just arrived today. Boy, you should have seen my excitement as I lugged the 12 kilometer, kilogram parcel to my apartment unit. Since it's been so long, I feel like I'm unraveling a box full of surprises. It's like Christmas came early. Glad a lot of the winter stuff came just in time. And no, I am not done unpacking this magic box yet. Oh my, my. It's true. And because of the shipping delays that we are experiencing all over the world, sometimes it you totally forget that you ordered something. And then it's like just getting a random present. All right. Well, glad your parcel got there safely. PSY 05902 writes DJ Jonghyun on Annyeonghaseyo. I had a great time with my friends yesterday. I placed a picture we took yesterday on my desk, and we look so happy that I get happy just looking at it. And I've got good news. I thought we won't be going on vacation this year, but my dad suggested that we go somewhere next week. Not anywhere close to the capital region, but maybe somewhere around either Yosu or Tongyeong. It looks like it'll be a family trip 
without my sister, though. Mm. I wish COVID will be over soon so that I can play in the water. I really want to go to a water park with my friends later. It's true. We all have, I think, um, post-COVID bucket lists. And that would be a fun one for you to put on yours. Water park with friends. So it'll be a lot of fun. You know, all the more to look forward to in the future. But for now, congratulations on getting a little summer vacation. All right. We have a song request. It's going to be our next song break. Requested by Kay. 1221-13149. Here is Epic High with In Seoul featuring Sanujunga. Not entirely. Two different songs from two different parts of the world, it's like they belong to a parallel universe. It's time to listen to a couple of songs that are seemingly nothing alike, but actually somewhat similar in one way or another, upon closer inspection. One K-pop track and one non-K-pop track. It is Parallel Universe, and because of this ongoing heat wave, today we're going to listen to some more songs entitled Fever. On Monday, we heard Fever by Park Jin Young and Fever by Kings of Convenience. Now today, we're going to start with the K-pop song Yeltea, English title Fever, by Yeo Ja Chingu, or G-Friend. This is, of course, the six-member girl group who made their debut in 2015. And after releasing a string of hits, they have come to be known as one of the girl groups that represent third-generation K-pop. Their song Yortea was a part of their seventh mini-album entitled Fever Season. It was released in the summer of 2019. It's a song about all of the heat and passion that continues on through the night, comparing it to the phenomenon of tropical nights, or yortea as it is known in Korea. Here's a bit of the words. On this night, my nose tingles and I'm excited. It's a wonderful season that bloomed without a sound. Temperatures keep rising day and night. It's so hot I think I might explode. This very moment, I want to show you without regret. I just want to make your heart pound. Under the bright moonlight, our love is like a tropical night, you and I. Hmm. As for the non-K-pop parallel of the day, we'll listen to Fever by English singer-songwriter Dua Lipa and Belgian singer Anzel. The song was released last fall as a single off of the French edition of Dua Lipa's second studio album, entitled Future Nostalgia. It topped the charts in Belgium and France, while also reaching the top tens in many other European countries. Lyrically, this sultry song is about the excitement of being with someone, where they almost give one a fever due to the infatuation. It's sung in both English and French, but here's a bit of the English lyrics. Before you came around, I was doing just fine. Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. And when it came down, I was looking in your eyes. Suddenly, 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 I could feel it inside. I've got a fever, so can you check? Ah, yes, comparing the fever of passion to a fever. Let's listen to these two feverish love songs back to back right now. Yarte or Fever by Yaja Chingu, G Friend, and then Fever by Dua Lipa and Angel. <laughs> That was Fever by Dua Lipa and Angel. And before that, it was Yortea or Fever by Yoja Chingu or G Friend. Those were the parallel universe songs of the day. Coming up in part two of the program, it's our Thursday segment, The Words, a chance for us to take a closer look into the words of some of the most popular K pop numbers. 
with, of course, lovely singer-songwriters Tala Jiang joining us. Let me wrap up part one of the show first, though. Here is Park Jae-jung with his song, Chimi, Hobby. Welcome to part two of One Fine Day with Lena Park. The Words, our Thursday segment looking into the world of K-pop song lyrics is coming up shortly with singer-songwriter Stella Jang. But let's give Stella, Stella a chance to settle in here. So, in the meantime, enjoy this song break. Here is Hopi Pola with Let's. If you think about it, a song is a poem with a melody. And, like poems, sometimes the words to a song hold more meanings than they let on. Other times it's the story behind the words that's even more extraordinary. It's all in the words. The words of a song can be so much more than just a mere component of it. So we take time each week to take a closer look at lyrics in this segment. And making sure nothing gets lost in translation, we'll sit down and chat with singer-songwriter Stella Tang. Hello. Hello, Stella. Welcome back. Thank you. It's been a week. <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> Does it feel like a week? Uh, it must be. You must have been busy. Uh, you're preparing for a, a performance tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it actually felt a little longer than the other weeks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that um, it's been a month that I said that I I feel like I'm coming here every day. Right. And it's been a month already. And already here we are pretty much at the end of July. <sighs> I know. Oh, my God. I remember you actually saying... Oh, gosh, I have this thing way at the end of July, and I don't know, it might get canceled, because it was a month ago. But yeah. it almost kind of feels like you said that last week, and here we are at the end of and the month. And it's tomorrow. And it's tomorrow. <laughs> Would you like to tell our listeners a little bit about tomorrow's special performance? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a know? concert with Lucid Fall, mm -hmm. and um, it's going to be a little different from the other concerts that um, you might have encountered um, mm -hmm, back in the done. days. Uh -huh. And um, it's going to be a small pyeon <laughs> song. Mm -hmm, a very... <laughs> so -mo. Yes, a very acoustic. A very acoustic, mm -hmm. and... Um, and it's going to be different, yeah. different songs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, nice. Yeah. So. Oh, I wish I could go see that. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. You have a lot of um, people so. going to see you. We have a lot of our over FD staff. We're going to go and try and catch you Yeah, as well. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> no you. No pressure. But you must like that, though, right? Uh, I like people... to have people I know in the audience. Okay, okay. It's, I'm like that, too. It's more comforting. It's comforting, and also it kind of makes it a little special and fun. Yeah. Um, definitely when you have different people coming to see you. Yeah, but I, uh, I have that experience, like, from my concert in... 2019 yeah. at the end of the year mm -hmm. and I don't know why but all the tickets that were given to the people I know yeah that they were like in the front seat. Oh no! And you I have felt to, bad you have about to myself <laughs> because I, I had to I had to see all the faces I know. Yeah. Every time I look around, yeah. and, and there was this one guy. I know uh, it, it was um, a music video director that mm -hmm. um, that I was very close. Yeah, and um, and he wouldn't smile like for, from the beginning <laughs> to the end. And I was like, "Why are you sitting there?" And and he was wearing an orange t shirt or something like that. Something so so she, he was very very visible. Standing out. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, so, um, and after that, like he he posted something on his uh, on his SNS mm -hmm. saying that uh, it was a nice concert, blah blah blah. And yeah. I was like, oh, and that was a nice expression, nice face, fa nicest <laughs> facial expression that he could do for me. And no reaction, uh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. you got it. It's 
especially if you're in the front row, yeah. I feel like that, you know, you have a duty being in the front row to be <laughs> extra supportive and extra reactions, you know, yeah. you know, extra, you know, feverish clapping yeah. and because, uh, yeah, you're there. You're part of the show as well. Uh, if I have people coming, though, that's one thing I definitely request, like never, never the front row. Mm-hmm. Never the front row, especially my parents, because then I just <gasps> literally cannot focus on anything <laughs> at all. Yeah, family coming is special. It's family different. coming is special. My but parents I just, are coming tomorrow, but I, I hope they're not very visible. In the front, it's true. Because it kind of, it, you just you can't stop thinking about them and then you can't think about your song you can't think about your lyrics you yeah, and you then know. you mess up everything and uh, it's just a matter of focus yeah. and another uh another thing that i uh another part um, type of audience that i don't want to have is uh singers <laughs> and on front rows because i I, be I i mean like my friends Who, sure. who work in the same industry? Sure. They, they came, and mm-hmm. um, some of them were visible again. Again, and I was like, "Oh my you god!" You get self conscious. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. You get a yeah. little self conscious, or you can, you know, turn that around and make that be a more of a motivator, oh. right? You know, like, "Hey, I'll show you." You know, sometimes that can backfire. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> but still, I I like It's them um, when they're on the second floor, or <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. It's we need them and we don't need them. I actually know singers who can't have people they know come because you know it especially kind of messes up their mental game. It is a very oh. mental exercise. So I was curious about you. I like it when people come, but like you said, not so like in your face, like. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you have that face right in the front row of the person you know, your friend or your family member, that's all you can see. You, yeah. you, you want to see other people in the mm-hmm. audience, but that's all you can see. I remember going to your concert before COVID, and I was in the dark, so I hope <laughs> I was not bothering you. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't see you at all. You did not bother me at all. Oh. All right. Uh, we've been talking about the heat. Everyone's commenting, of course, on the heat wave, and um, I think that today's topic is very fitting and a kind of a continuation yeah. of what we are experiencing here in Korea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fire. Fire, yeah. right. We, uh, we talked from... about this um, with Liz mm-hmm. last week yeah. uh, when we uh, chose, uh, when we picked songs that were hot. Hot. And now we go to fire. Fire, yes. We went from fever in parallel universe to fire. All these things really just inspired by Just how darn hot we feel. <laughs> yeah. The heat wave here in Korea mm-hmm. that does not seem to be letting up. Yeah, and I, and I saw pictures of, um, of the United States where um, you have those trash cans melting down. Mm-hmm. And I bad. felt lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so at least our trash cans aren't melting mm-hmm. for now. For at now. Least. <laughs> Absolutely. But yes, it is yeah. our continuation of Yer Chia, the mm-hmm. words. And what's the first fire kind of inspired song that we'll be talking about? First song is Pruti Spark mm. by Taeyeon. Um, and Pruti in Korean is Pul and T, so yeah. it's uh, something like a fire spark. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so it has fire in the title. Yes, yes, it and, does. And um, so I thought it was a good song to start with mm-hmm. because it's a small spark of fire. That's right. Yeah, We're then starting we go with to a big spark. fire. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's gonna get bigger and bigger. Okay, yeah. that sounds kind of good. Yes, pretty is it's a pretty pretty word too, and it's a spark. Yeah. Yes. And I remember uh, seeing a show where Taeyeon was talking about this song, mm. uh, talking about the behind uh, of this song. Yeah. And uh, it was actually Kenzie who wrote the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, she told Taeyeon mm-hmm. that she always wanted to to write a song dealing with. The word pretty. Oh, for Taeyeon. Yeah, because somehow she felt like it. Um, it matched her personality, or mm-hmm. it was a good theme for Taeyeon, mm-hmm. and it did. It does. Yeah, it is. It, it's really, really fitting, and the way that she uses pretty in the song is also very catchy and clever, unusual. Yeah. Um, but I'd also think that some, some something like a little fire spark. Yeah, is very fitting for Taeyeon. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the lyrics. Yeah. Blow hoo-hoo. 
<laughs> Red spark. My feelings are like you, dangerous as if it'll burst into a blaze. I try to gently push you and cover you, but you won't go off. What should I do with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what's funny is that in Korean, it's puro. Yeah. And in English, it's blow. It blow. kind of sounds the same. It yeah. does, a little bit. Blah, mm-hmm. blah. <laughs> in that small warmth that I thought would only be soft, what have you been hiding? There's There are so many of me within me that all my nights are noisy. Could it be that you heard me? Mm-hmm. It's the timing. It's dawn. Time to wake up. Wake up the spark. Yes. So it's time to wake up this inner spark within mm-hmm. you. And it's, um, you know, where have you been hiding or what have you been hiding? I, I feel like, of course, she's talking about something inside herself. Yeah. Yes. Burn bigger. Hoo, 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 mm-hmm. So that it won't go off. Stay as red as you are. And spread bigger. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It's the hottest now. Inside of me, it's small and little. Mm-hmm. And then, spark, spark, don't go off, but bloom, spark, mm-hmm. spark, fly away in dawn. And a new spark, spark, burn your whole body as if in a dance. Mm-hmm. New spark, spark, don't go off, but bloom. Yes. And it's very unusual for a song to just take bruti, this unusual word, that, that maybe is used in passing for lyrics, but it's the entire hook. Yeah. For this song almost kind of turns into this incantation, <laughs> you know, with the clapping and the really, um, really catchy rhythm. I think yeah. it's very, very clever. Yeah, and also when, when um, she uses hoo, 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 it's mm-hmm. like when you blow on a fire, it you gets go. bigger and bigger. Exactly. So, so she's actively, through the lyrics, um, even through her ad libs, actually kind of growing the spark. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. You light this black darkness in a circle, shining a light in front of me. You can go anywhere. On the strong wind, rise up and look down. We're travelers on this star mm-hmm. or planet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yesterday on the street, you only dreamed like a little bird, a little bird. Now it's the timing, your time. Breathe into it and wake up the spark. Mm-hmm. So now she's kind of taking it from internal from herself to others now, right? Mm -hmm. She brings us in. You light this black darkness. You can go anywhere. We are travelers on this star. Mm -hmm. And then she repeats the refrain Mm -hmm. with um, burn bigger Mm -hmm. so that it won't go off. Stay as red as you are. And then spark, spark, don't go off. Spark, mm-hmm. spark, fly away and on. New spark, spark. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Um, I like that stay as red as you are in Korean. I think it's kind of nice. Brutti. Brutti. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Which is kind of a rhyme with brutti. Yeah. It's very clever, huh? Brutti, brutti. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's. Mm-hmm. And there's a repetition like yeah. when you, um, in Korean when you have in other languages as well I think but when you have repetition it's an exaggeration. Yes, there's a there's an accent on right the color an f- an emphasis. Purti <laughs> purta. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Believe in your long wait and your time. You are like me. Wake up the spark. Wake up the spark. So it's super nice. It starts as a small spark within one person. And then by the end, it's just she universalizes it and she includes everybody into Mm -hmm. waking up your own spark. And then it's like a cycle and starts all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Um, It's a really cool way to start our little discussion of fire with a small spark. Here is Taeyeon singing Purti. Spark. Tan with Bruti or Spark. And that is Sparking, our mm-hmm. um, playlist of fire related songs. Fire, because that is what the air feels like right now here in yeah. Seoul. It's just so, it's hot. And you know, um, I remember when I first came to Korea that it's very known, they're all for the, you know, 24 years, 25 years I've lived here, it always is the Samsa Gejar, you know, like the three <laughs> days, four days, three days, four days. No yeah. matter how hot it got, just wait a few days and it would you would get a little bit of relief. But this year, we're yeah. not getting that. This year it actually feels like kind of North America, yeah. where there's we no had end. That, like in 2018 as well, I yes, think. Yes, the record-breaking yeah. year. And uh, apparently there's, you know, a change in the climate. And what they were calling it in the news a heat dome. So our heat wave is actually yeah. exactly what's happening in the west coast of the United States and North America. 
Uh-huh. So and that that totally kind of messes up the traditional um, normal climate of the three, yeah, four, three, four. Yeah, I heard four. that like we're having different species of fish, fishes in the <gasps> ocean, and wow, um, and That's also the, the the raining pattern mm-hmm. changed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did a little bit like Southeast Asia. Yeah, so it does feel a lot more tropical as oh, well. Something's going wrong. I know. Yeah. What will happen? Well, in the meantime. Mm-hmm. Let's look at these songs about fire. In fact, our next song is called Fire, fire. by 21. All right. Well, everybody knows this song. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know that there was this introduction. Like, I go by the name of CL of I didn't 21. know this either. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of subtle or it starts out really quickly. I'm not sure. It's uh, Well, I remember CL si- singing this song, but I didn't really consider this as the beginning of the song. It's yeah. kind of an introduction. Right. And, um, mm-hmm. and she only introduces herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go by the name of CL yeah. of 21. <clears throat> it's been a long time coming, but we're here now and we're about to set the roof on fire, baby. You better <laughs> get yours because I'm getting mine. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Going back to the heyday of uh, 21. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's ten, it must be 10 years ago. Oh, it's more than 10 it's years like ago. 11, 11, it's oh, like 11... It's like 12 yeah, years it's ago. 12 years ago. I thought <clears> it was um, 10 years ago because CL is... Um, at, I, I'm the same age, age. as CL. So... Mm-hmm. As she says, name of CL of 21. I thought she was 21. 21 years then, old. But, but no. <laughs> no. She must have been like 19. Yes. Exactly. To anyone. You got the ring, the alarm. <clears throat> and we're 21. Hey, 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 hey. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, you know, it's one of those songs where it's sort of like, let us introduce ourselves as yeah. a group. Mm-hmm. It was an introduction. Like, yes. Like introduction of the century. <laughs> and it was a very strong introduction. You know, you're not going to start an introduction with a strong group like 21 with, you know, um, you know, like, mm, this a spring shower. <laughs> no, it's fire. Yeah, it's yes. fire. And yeah. Come in, come in, come in to a different world. Turn your back on the boring concerns now. La 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 with my unpretentious hums. Ha 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 ha. So that no one could ever laugh at you again. Mm-hmm. Oh, so this is a flex song. Yeah, total yeah. flex song. Now let's dance, dance, dance. When I get down, dream bigger and bigger. The world will go my way. I can do anything, so I want big freedom tonight. Tonight. Tonight, yeah. The stars shining in my eyes and the firelight burning inside of my heart will, will not last forever, but I've got nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. I want to go crazy. Me, 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 Yeah, faster. I want to run over the tall buildings, over the blue sky. I want to shout at so she goes louder. Yeah, I like that. I like the English Englishified here. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you got that fire making my heart pound. It's in Korean. It's actually yes. mm-hmm. You gotta drop it like it's hot. Don't try to, to stop now. Oh, that fire pounding in my head. Boom. I gotta boom, boom. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta drop it like it's hot. Don't try to stop now. Oh, that fire pounding in my head. I gotta boom, boom, boom. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta drop it like it's hot. Don't try to stop. Yes, it's a girl flex time. Yeah. Oh, it, it rhymes well in English. Doesn't like, it? I gotta drop it like it's hot. Don't try to stop. <laughs> yeah, it's so it actually works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get up, get up, get up. No matter how many times you fall, even if the world I believed in betrays me again, I, 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 I never cry like a fool. Oh, mom, mom, mom. Don't act like shy. Uh, don't act shy like others. Mm-hmm. Not only is um, they're talking about a kind of a flexing, like hey, here we are, and then I have unprotected hands. But then when we get to the chorus, actually, uh. They bring it to you. You got that fire, right? Yeah. I got some kung kung kung. Yeah. I'll take you to the end. Follow, follow me. Oh, it's like G-Dragon. Follow, follow me. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> when my heart rushes and makes me short of breath, I don't hate it for some reason. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Don't fear. Let it go. For a better tomorrow, let, 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 let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 
And then they repeat the mm-hmm. refrain, um, the star shining in my eyes. Actually, this part is the pre-hook. Yes. Like the star shining in my eyes right. and the firelight burning inside of my heart mm-hmm. will not last forever, but I've got nothing to lose. All right. Yeah. And then we go back to the really fun and me, catchy. Me, 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 me. When yeah. I go crazy, I faster, I want to run. It's Everything is just about energy and yeah. a little bit of flexing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels like Taeyeon's purity, Taeyeon's spark. <laughs> um Unleashed a little bit, yeah. Becomes this <laughs> exactly when that spark is unleashed after all that blowing, curating it. Hoo hoo hoo! Here we go. Now the fire has caught. It's gone crazy. <laughs> I want to go crazy faster. I want to r- 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 run, <laughs> and I want to shout up, 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 up louder. Louder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they do. They shout their name. Very loudly, yeah. 21. Mm-hmm. And we have a funny um, onomatopoeia part. Yes, yeah. yes. Make your funny. hair go swish, 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 swish. <laughs> wow, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> chalang, 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 mm-hmm. chalang. Swish, 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 swish. Yeah. Swish. Yeah. Say that by, four times fast. Yeah, mm-hmm. by shaking your butt this way and that. And that goes in Korean. Chalang, 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 Yeah. Chalang, 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 chalang. Yeah, super cute, huh? Yeah. Make your hair go swish, 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 swish. By shaking your butt this way and that. Mm-hmm. Salang, 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 salang. And then we get another repeat of the hook and they end. They say, I want to be always free as free as I am today. Nice. And definitely, you know, at this point in time, we hadn't had seen a girl group with this um, strong kind of a like a flexing personality. You know, yeah. they always tended to be a little bit cuter. Mm-hmm. Girls' generation did both, right? Sometimes they would do a pyeongshin or a concept change and go a little dark and edgy, but 21 just as conceptually from the get-go. Yeah. Always had a very strong kind of an edge and fire. Now it's, you know, not unusual. It's sort of the pre-black pink mm-hmm. of YG. And also, I think it's kind of fun to note that uh, the writer of this song, Teddy, Teddy, is one of the songs. We also explored one of his other hot songs last week. We have another song coming up. <laughs> and we have more and more coming up about fire. So it's all about um, when you're showing confidence yeah. or when you're showing some sort of a strong personality. Maybe it's a Teddy thing. <laughs> it could be. Um, for him, obviously, one of the key associations is heat and fire. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and it works. It works for us as well, right? Mm-hmm. It's a very easy cue to take. So, let's listen going back to 2009. Here's 21 with Fire. I go by the name of CL21. It's been a long time coming, but we here now. That was 21 Ooh. with Fire. Another revelation. Um, from about our writer, Teddy, our composer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one note, folks. One chord. The yeah, song has but, one um, chord. We have different transitions. Yes, so we do have that, transitions that yeah, just that go back dynamic. to that chord. Yeah, but that's a talent. <laughs> it truly is. Yeah. It's a totally fun song. And why does it get stuck in your ear like an earworm? Because, maybe because it has one chord. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the working theory. I like today's playlist because it's super cold here. So. <laughs> yes. We're keeping warm. <laughs> We're keeping warm by oh, the fire of our here. music, fiery music. And speaking of Teddy and how I was talking, mentioning Black Pink. We're going to move straight along to uh, 21, sort of throwing the baton to their next generation yeah. girl group. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Puljangnan, Playing with Fire by Blackpink. Mm-hmm. So it's from 2016. So this is our third Teddy song from last week. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> He's they're... just really in the fire and heat. <laughs> it's perfect for our yeah. themes. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you. But there's another theme going on here. It's yes, it's not true. just about um, just fire and um, no, now we're passion. kind of, exactly, because now yeah. we just stayed, you know, very close to just simply about fire, but now we're taking that fire and doing something. We're yeah. We're playing with fire. So, Purjangnan is um, actually <laughs> the, the the act of playing with fire, and um, in Korean, um, it's all it's also uh, used for, for inappropriate um, mm-hmm. kind of playing. Mm-hmm, exactly, and mm-hmm. also playing with fire. You can literally be playing with fire, but of course, you know, that phrase usually just means you're being risky. 
Yeah. You're taking risks. I love to play with fire when I was like 20. <laughs> oh my god. I had those like matchbox. Yes, like, yes. And I would just just turn it on. Mm-hmm. And just stare. Stare. Just stare. Yeah, and p u l m o n like for 10 seconds because it doesn't last long. Right. And then I I actually I love to start the fire yes. with a match. Mhm. And so it smelled Striking not very, it. very good at my place. But <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, we're glad you've come out of that. Oh, I love to. I love to look at the fire. I used to love candles, so oh, I used to. That, so I used to collect matches, and I used just. I just had bunches and bunches from. <laughs> and they used to give matches away everywhere in Korea. Do you remember way back when? Oh um, yeah, back right. in the '90s, every mm-hmm. cafe that you went to, the little cafe sign on it, they would have. You yeah. Know, And also from the Chinese restaurants and Chinese restaurants, and and they would try and make it very um, kind of uh, signature, you know. Uh, oh. You know, they'd put their little brand on it. They'd be very creative about making fun little matches, and mm-hmm. so yeah, it was used to. It was super easy to collect. Yeah. I had to throw them all away after a certain yeah, point. It's, it's it's still. I think mm-hmm. I. I, I I still prefer to start a fire with the with the match. Yeah, as opposed um, to a lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Handy for, you know, the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> 불장난, playing with fire. Another Teddy composition, but now we're going, um, you to know. To the next generation girl yes, group. Yes, next generation of girl groups about, you know, uh, seven years into the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My mom told me every day to be careful of men mm. because love is like playing with fire ah, so and I might get hurt. <gasps> Yuck, she, it's love that is risky and yeah. it's like playing with fire. Mm-hmm. My mom might be right. When I see you, my heart burns up hot because the attraction is bigger than the fear. Mm. Yeah. This unstoppable trembling, oh, and on and on, on and on and on. I want to throw all of me into the world that is you. Look at me, look at me now. You're making me burn for you. It cannot be put out. Oh. Okay. Our love is like playing with fire. Our love is like playing with fire. <laughs> yeah. And then there goes the, the hook. Yeah. Like with the... Dun, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. My love is on fire. Now burn, baby, burn. p u r j a n g n a n Playing with fire. My love is on fire, so don't play with me, boy. I like that. A very cute play on words there. My love is on fire. I'm playing with fire, so don't play with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I've already come too far. Already, everything isn't a joke. (laughs) The red spark called love. Let the wind blow and feed the flame. Whether this is medicine or poison, not even my mom knows. (laughs) You stole my heart. But how come not even the police knows? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, now stealing my heart, we have to see the Korean part for that. Yeah, 내 맘 도둑인데 왜 경찰도 몰라. Yes, 도둑인데. It's a kind of like a, a robbery, but the police doesn't even know. Yeah, this is funny. 약인지 독인지 우리 엄마도 몰라. Yeah, it's, it's super cute that uh, they call on their 엄마. Yeah, like the very... mom comes like three times in the song. Exactly. <laughs> um, and, you know, it, it's... There's this kind of a, a tradition in music, also in North America, where uh, you know artists sing. You know, my mama told me, <laughs> and to me, it's sort of kind of like a K-pop idol version of my mama told me. Yeah, you know, to be careful of you. J.S. Lee is just like, oh, 이 정도면 Teddy is sort of like a K-pop arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. That's I true. think he would like the title. I think he would. I think yeah. he'd be quite... K-pop arsonist. It's a oh compliment. My God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. And pour the fuel that is you onto my heart it in flames. Kiss him. Will I diss him? I don't know, but I miss him. <laughs> well, this part is in English. Yes, so, yeah. yes. This love is cracked beyond addiction. The color of my heart is black. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's the, like the coal. Rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 중독을 넘어선 이 사랑은 crack. 내 네, 심장의 색깔은 black. Because mm-hmm. it's all burnt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, um, this unstoppable trembling, on and on and on. I want to throw all of me into the world that is you. Mm-hmm. Oh, 너란 불길 속으로 this time. It's like, um, oh, yes. into the fire into the that fire. is you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. St- you know how you throw things onto fire to keep it going? Yeah. To make it bigger? Mm-hmm. Now I'm just throwing all of me into the fire. Oh, so I'm going to be the fuel for, for yes. the fire that is you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Strong stuff. Yeah, look at me, look at me now. 
Um, yeah, you're making me burn for you. It cannot be put out. <laughs> oh, well, actually, like making me burn for you in Korean, it's not a t e u g o i t a n a Oh, nice. And um, in little... Korean, you don't say t e u g o i t a n a it's a t e u d a And e, I don't know what's the, the Chinese character for this e. I was but thinking it was the e. e d a t a e t a d a And yeah. And so it's a way of saying, you know, um, I love you. Yeah. But we have the image of a fire burning in that phrase. So very, mm-hmm. very clever there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My love is on fire. Now burn, baby, burn. My love is on fire. So don't play with me, boy. Mm-hmm. It cannot be contained. This flame is spreading too fast. Don't stop me. Let this love burn the night. Wow. So here we do start with that spark that we saw in the first song. And then this out of control fire that we saw in the yeah. last song. But it's all wrapped up in one here. And I love how the spark here is actually p u r s h i Yeah. Right? It was the seed that was sown, right? And the mm-hmm. wind blew and fed the flame. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's getting bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger. Let's listen. Here's Blackpink with p u j a n g n a n playing with fire. That was Blackpink with p u j a n g n a n I feel like we're listening to kind of a classic Blackpink, if that is even a thing here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they've evolved so much already from yeah. 2016. That's um, right. But it was a really good start playing with fire on this week's, if it wasn't obvious, on the words with Stella Jung, we're listening to some fiery songs. Mm-hmm. Um, the next song we have is another sort of a fiery song from that same year, 2016. Yeah. It's p u r t a u r n e Fire by BTS. You have to say it like p u r t a u r n e Ah, p u r t a u r n e Very, very catchy. This is also uh, kind of a nostalgic because we're going back to classic early BTS. Yeah. Where they were a lot more kind of, you know, with uh, hip-hop influences. Yeah, and while these days they're more into the pop, like mm-hmm. with... Um, very uh, Western pop with style. With their success in the uh, worldwide. m h m And um, I also saw that um, B- BTS actually stands for p a n g t a n Sonyeondan, mm-hmm. and but uh, there are other people afterwards, yes. like after their success, mm-hmm. like changing that into Burn the Stage or Burn the Stage. Uh, when they changed when they changed their name to BTS, oh, they, it was p a n g t a n Sonyeondan, but then they decided they actually released a press release that they wanted it to be. Beyond the scene, beyond the scene, mm-hmm. oh, as another meaning for it. But you know, you know, we can just take it for what it is. Yeah, BTS. Yeah, whatever I actually, is good. I love p a n g t a n s u n y o n d a n It was such an unusual name. Mm-hmm. I loved it, and I always wanted them to call themselves Bulletproof Boys. But they are. <laughs> I know, but in English. Oh. <laughs> you know, it sounds like a cool, like, Brit rock group name, no? Yeah, but, um, well, when I first heard this um, naming, like, p a n g t a n s o n y o n d a n I imagined, like, boys with bulletproof c h u k i you yeah, know? Like yeah, those, those, uh-huh. those like, Kevlar vests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I thought it was a really cute image. And you can tell where that image was trying to come from. From early songs like this song, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. much more of a different more image. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it starts with p u r t a u r n e fire. Mm-hmm. So p u r t a u r n e in Korean yes. is um, fire is burning. Yes, fire mm. is burning. It's present in t a u r n e I always think of fire tower because it sounds similar, oh. <laughs> where the fire is just kind of kind of spiraling upwards into the sky. Oh. A fire tower. <laughs> like Mordor. Yes, it's like it's Mordor. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And when I wake up in my room, I've got nothing. After the sun sets, I stumble as I walk. Everyone's messed up, drunk, drunk, cursing in the streets, streets. I'm out of my mind like I'm crazy. Everything's a wreck, living like B. <laughs> Live your life as you'd like. It's yours anyway. Don't try too hard. It's okay to lose. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody say Everybody. la 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 la. <laughs> say la 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 la. Mm-hmm. Put your hands up and scream, burn it up. Yeah. It's burning up. So. Burn it all up. Bow wow wow. Mm-hmm. Burn it all up. Bow wow wow. Yeah. So another song using fire to um, signal and to kind of incite energy. Yeah. Right? Let's burn it up. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So burn it all up. Bow, wow, wow. And um, hey, burn it up as if you'll burn it all up. 
Hey, turn it up until the dawn comes to an end. Just live, we're young. Those who say that, what kind of spoon are you? <laughs> To so talk, just, talk just. of spoons, I'm a, I'm a human being. <laughs> so what? Is there? What does that mean? Is um, there a cultural thing going yeah, on? Yeah, there's a cultural thing so going on. I, I didn't know that this expression existed back uh, in 2016, mm. but in Korean, um, there's a. It's not a good thing, but no. there's a grading of spoons. Um, oh, okay, I know what you're your, talking about from your parents. Um, uh, it's a so, like about your social economic background, right? Yeah. Are you are you a lower economic class, middle class, high, you know? Or yeah. So so there's that thing with wealthy. like golden spoon yes. or diamond spoon, mm-hmm. and um, for those who are not in a, who do, who don't have a wealthy background, mm-hmm. they would be called as hukseojo. Okay, yeah. dirt spoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, we have the same thing in English as well. Uh, we have the phrase called "born with silver spoons in your mouth." Oh yeah, which I think, means I to think be that's born the wealthy. Beginning of this expression in Korean because mm-hmm. it's it was it didn't exist it's before uh, before. Yeah. So yeah, kind of grading your wealth class by mm-hmm. what kind of spoons you use. So that's what it's referring to here. What kind of spoon are you? Yeah. And what what about spoons? What's a spoon? I am a human being, right? Yeah. Little. Tiny social message <laughs> before they go, er, buddy. <laughs> yeah, er, buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like this uh, part, like, live your life as you'd like it's yours anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try too hard. It's okay to lose. Yeah. Um, everybody say la 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 la. Mm-hmm. Say la 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 la. Put your hands up and scream. Burn it up. Mm-hmm. And then, um, pultaurane. Yeah. yeah. It's burning up. Suck the pultaura. Yeah. <laughs> burn it all Very strong. Up. Yeah. And actually, here I think it's um, more of um, burn the bad things up to ashes. Exactly. And uh, in Twenty One Song, it's yeah. like put the fi- set the fire, and um, let's get this. Uh, yes, I'm throwing energy. myself into the fire, and then it's going to kind of um, create this crazy heat of passion. Here, it's more of um, let's. Let's just burn it all, meaning burn away the bad stuff. Burn away us comparing each other with by spoons, you know, and and this kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So that we can come out like a phoenix, come mm-hmm. out of it cleaner, and, detoxed. And uh, 타오르다 and 태우다 is different. Yes. So 타오르다 is just the fire burning by itself. Mm-hmm. And um, 불태우다, it's you burning something like so Actively. that it doesn't exist anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 싹다 불태워라. And mm-hmm. um, we have that bridge part, fire. Those who are fearful, come here. Mm. Those in pain, come here. Raise up your fists all night long. In marching steps, run and go crazy, everyone. Yes. It's like a revolution. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's a kind of like, let's Let's change things up right now. And it's a, just a lot of energy. As always, a positive message from BTS. Yeah. Like, all right, let's listen. BTS with Putaurune or Fire. Putaurune. <laughs> Uh, Why are they going to forgive us? Set the fire. Because we we've burned songs. <laughs> <laughs> Listener Dreamy says, you know, listening to three fire songs in a row, it makes me feel cooler. <laughs> yeah, that's ear cheer. <laughs> ear cheer. You know, in in terms of temperatures, not in in temperatures, but more like liberating. Like, shuanada. Yeah, it's like, um, when you eat hot things in <laughs> Korean, you yes. say shuanada. That's, that's true. <laughs> we don't know. That's a, that's a very Korean thing. It's true. There's something. Refreshing about it, and you know, I think BTS's song said it the best. Sometimes when we're like saying let's burn it up, mm-hmm. it's all the things that we're holding on to because the heat, the heat makes us feel like we're in a. A lot of people say jim tong, right? Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because I, I feel like I'm trapped in a steamer. And you feel you, you can, and there's you can no feel escape. like um, you can relate to a mandu. <laughs> yeah, and then you know how that the cover is covered, yeah. and you're just waiting and waiting, and the pressure is building and building, and then listening to these fire songs, it feels like someone opened that lid up, you yeah. know, and you're like, ah, <laughs> <Relief>. oxidization. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lahab82 says, I don't know. I feel like firefighters might not really appreciate these songs. 
Yeah, but they're not really doing it, so it's that's fine. true. Well, you know, we, poor, poor Changnan obviously was just metaphorical for love, so <laughs> yeah. they weren't. I don't think that they're actually kind of you know in inspiring young kids to play with fire. Literally, I mm-hmm. should hope not. <laughs> but yes, uh, we have one more song for today. Yeah, one last song is. Fire by Park Jin Young, mm. and there's a special featuring line yeah, I here. Know. It, it, it surprised me. Yes, there's featuring Conan O'Brien, uh-huh. Stephen Yun, uh-huh. and Park Jin Min. Uh, like how, why? How? Did how? This happen? <laughs> <laughs> how did this happen? Now I do remember um, Conan O'Brien and Stephen Yun doing a lot of these series of where Conan O'Brien. Yeah, well, he visited. came to Korea. He visited um, Korea several times. But even before he visited Korea, I think the precursor to that was when Stephen Yun was showing Conan O'Brien around yeah. Koreatown in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. took him to a Jim sauna Jim yeah. in Jim Jilbang. <laughs> Very popular Jim Jilbang, by the way. Oh. And where he got demi <laughs> oh He got exfoliated. And then, of course, you know, JYP has a long-standing kind of um, relationship with a, a lot of the late-night hosts ever since, mm-hmm. you know, Wonder Girls did their appearances on oh. a lot of the shows as well. So yeah. maybe that's kind of what happened here. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it's uh, but actually it's uh, it's an interesting collaboration, mm-hmm. and um, no, I didn't know that Stephen Yen like would do features on songs. Yeah, I didn't know either. But apparently, it was sort of like uh, some cameos maybe in the music video. Yeah, and um, the music video was showed like for the first time on TBS. Oh, in America, like uh-huh. through Conan Show. Wow, it was That's actually debuted. Wow. Th- so JYP's. Song music video was me- debuted on the Conan show. Yeah, and and actually this color, uh, this participation to the music video, mm-hmm. the fi- uh, fire, mm-hmm. it's because Conan O'Brien mm-hmm. contact <laughs> contacted Park Jin Young himself. Oh, he did. That's yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> Like he really loves Korea. I don't he know really what's going does. on, but I I know that he also featured on on a drama like yeah. uh, where there was Changnara playing. I think yes, I remember and, that he and, did a cameo. Yeah, he did a cameo, and I was like, oh my! But I I know his face. Like who? But that's Conan. Like well, what is he doing there? And, it's true. That was a lot of fun. Um, so we get a little fun background here in this special collaboration. The song is called Fire. And of course, written by JYP himself. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, when from the start, like if we see the name J- JYP sure. Park Jin Young, we know that fire song mm-hmm. would be something about like the mood, yes, and um, the energy going oh, on. Oh yes, absolutely. Because he's basically on fire. He is on fire. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he—that's what he says from the start. Yes, I'm on fire. Mm-hmm. Someone try to stop me. I think I'm going crazy. My body's burning up. It's getting on the rhythm. My body's flaming up. I think I'll burn up everything, even the roof. Okay, I'm on fire this time. Oh, he's concerned about his <laughs> fire getting bigger. And oh my god, I, 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 I might <laughs> burn everything. I'm gonna burn everything up. <laughs> yeah, and it's about his love for music. Yeah. Yes. I don't know why I'm like this whenever music comes mm. on. I can't keep still. Like, I'm about to go crazy. Whenever the lights start turning, I think I'll go mad. I can't keep still. Like, I'm about to go crazy. Mm-hmm. I, I can imagine, like, um, the the um, worst uh, ko- komun, mm-hmm. like, torture that yes. we could do to JYP is yes. to... Is to tell him not to move, like with a very upbeat song. Sit in the song, sit in the chair and don't move. Yeah. <laughs> and then play like something really, really fun and t- up tempo. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor JYP. All right. But, well, mm-hmm. he's not tortured. So. No. It feels like there's something in my blood. Like it's full of something bad. Someone get me out of this delinquent body. <laughs> oh, baby, 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 please. Mm. Wow, delinquent! Like I, 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 I haven't seen this word you like know, quite for a such while. a it's long true. time. It's true. Yeah, I'm on fire. Somebody try to stop me. I think I'm going crazy. My body's burning up. It's getting on the rhythm. My body's flaming up. I think I'll burn up everything, even the roof. Even the roof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Is there any way to play? Where's the party? Is there anywhere to play? Where's the party, baby? Party. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
People who see me for the first time think I'm crazy. I can't keep still, like I'm about to go crazy. <laughs> They think I'm either drunk or on drugs. I can't keep still, like I'm about to go crazy. Yeah. No. I mean, he's just on fire. It's just his passion, like you said, on fire for music, for dancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even I don't know why I'm like this. Seeing me surprises myself. I'm definitely not crazy, but I look crazy. <laughs> baby, oh baby, baby, please. I can just imagine the kind of fun with this, you know, very easy theme going on here in the song that maybe uh, the featured artists have. I think we should definitely check out the music video when we listen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stella, for our fiery songs. Definitely feel ear cheer here going on. Okay. I do feel warmer. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and break legs on your show tomorrow. Thank you. Have a wonderful time and have mm -hmm. a lot of fun. We'll see you next week. Yay, bye. All right. Here is Fire by Park Jin Young featuring Conan O'Brien, Stephen Yun, and Park Jin Min. Hey, Stephen. I really need to have some fun tonight. How do you say, where's the party in Korean? Oh, you just say, Dolte Omni? Okay, I got it. Hey, ladies, Dolte Omni? Come on, fire. Where's the party? Dolte Omni? I didn't know that's how you say that. It was Pak Jing Yun or JYP with fire bringing us to the end of today's show. Don't forget to join me again tomorrow for our new Friday segment, Word of the Week. Here is Raina and Sunny with Han Yoram Pamekur, a midsummer night sweetness. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you tomorrow.